Hello and welcome back. My name is DYC89 and I continue my adventures in Minecraft. <laughs> I really tried to get a like an intro going but I, I keep messing it up. <laughs> okay, so one thing I want to do is take fish. You might be wondering why. Well, on my nether portal uh, there is something special. Uh, I noticed there's a witch hunt. I think actually I think I mentioned that before uh, mm, wait let me test how loud this music is let me lower more there we go okay so again I'm really trying to find the perfect sound settings so I know how loud I can be and how loud I can make the game uh, so everybody can hear the music or monsters and stuff so I really want that sound to be, to be good. Anyway, so on my enchanting table, I decided to build this thing, uh, which is why I've like the episodes haven't been daily, because I've been creating this. Uh, so I created this path, and this goes to the village that I explored in the last episode and an arena. Now, which is a, basically a mob spawner. Uh, because I wanted to grind more gunpowder and stuff. However, I can't seem to get it to work. Uh, the mobs just don't fall where they're supposed to. Oh, oh no. Hold on. I forgot to mute a few sounds. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay. So, I had Discord and I forgot to mute it. The sounds may still go through. Anyway, so... I, th I think I briefly mentioned this. So, th I'm going to maybe speed up this clip. Ow. Okay, so I probably speed up the clip uh, as I was testing a few things. Oh, I didn't fix this one. Oops. So the thing is that uh, I, in the other rails, I start to remove these two and add a power boost like over here because uh, every time it reaches here, it stops. And I, I want it to stop here so I, when I get off, I don't bump my, head, bump my head into this and take damage, which I, I did right now. Also, I. I saw Jacksepticeye's video on water elevators, and I didn't know that was a thing. So now I created this, and I like this. I really like how how cool this this whole like warp pipe. So that, that's that's what what inspired me to do the the tunnel system down there. Now I really want to put more torches here because as much as I like this like ruined city and enemies spawning, I don't want the creeper to blow it up. <laughs> Anyway, so I the witch set is somewhere back here, so I'm gonna go find it. And why? So I can kill the witch and steal its black cat. I believe I mentioned that in one of the previous episodes, and I don't know how to gather these things without breaking them. Oh, I could just hit them. I don't know if a pickaxe is necessary. Oh, did I broke that one? Can't tell what happened to that one. Oh yeah, I, I got it. Can I do it with any block? Oh yeah, I don't need to do okay nice. I want some lily pads because I I wanna place them on top of the my my sugar cane farm. So that way I don't have to like sink into the water and just walk and grab it. Although I'm starting to get a lot of sugar canes now so I may not need like it a little too late basically is what I'm trying to say like I really needed that at the beginning and it's just one of those things I didn't want to like gift myself in creative mode because I I, le I still want to legitimately get a few things if anything I'm just making my life easier with constructions because those take a long time if I do it in survival and ugh, <laughs> just I, I don't like the thought of just putting dirt in order to climb onto something. If, if the game is giving me the option of doing something I like without being frustrated, I'm, I'm gonna take it. Uh, oh, I didn't brought food. It's gonna, it's gonna be a doozy if I... And I only got 10 minutes <laughs> before it goes nighttime, so I gotta hurry. I know it's somewhere back there. Okay, I'm gonna get out of this water. I'm gonna keep this sword just in case. Nah, that's good. 
Oh, I should load this up. At least I could get one free shot. Okay, no, I wanted to test this. Did I grab this one before? Mm, I didn't got any like new die thing. So I'm assuming I did. Well, it's gonna kinda chunky. Mm, brightening up. There we go. I don't see it, I know. Oh what's a creeper doing there? I don't see this hut. Uh, I know I saw it one time. Oh, you know what? I should start leaving uh, a trail. Considering I'm going to walk back here. And it, it's, you know, it's going to go nighttime pretty soon. Let's put that there. Nope. Frame drop. Did I skip it? Wait. I think that's it. Good thing I turned around. I also need to find out how I can graph kelp without destroying it. Oh, there she is. Oh, oh, hit me with slowness. No, oh, god dang it. Dang it. Why? That took way longer than it should have. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. So this is a witch's hut. Oh, dang it. No, the blocks to get up. I hear the cat. <laughs> uh, slowness. Ugh. And then on night time, getting slow, that's bad. Perfect. There's the kitty. Wow, <laughs> that was an instant. Nice. Let's grab this color. Oh, did I broke it? No, I didn't. Alright, kitty, well, we gotta run back. Now, the plus side of having this kitty is that uh, I'm not. Yep, it's t I tamed it. Nice. Uh, having this black kitty is gonna help me avoid creepers. However, as we noticed in the last episode, if if this cat gets too delayed on following me, it it, it won't it won't make it. That's crazy though to eat the the fish raw just like that, because uh, eating chicken is bad already. Because you know raw chicken is like salmonella. Oh, God, dang it. I don't hear my cat anymore. Oh, there you go. Wait, uh, I'm, I, I totally forgot to talk. What is this guy? <laughs> I'm assuming that was a villager, but what are the odds that a villager zombie came after me? Oh, there's skellies over there. Whoa. Oh, okay. 
I... Oh, how am I gonna do this? Because I, I don't think I could take the cat with me, because, uh... I need to go to the... Like, the tunnel. But I... Pets can't go through the... The, the water pipe like I do. I could just walk all the way back. But I really want to wait until morning before I do that. Oh, and bring a freaking boat and more food. That's for sure. Okay. Thankfully, with him being here, he's going to scare off the creepers. So, Ugh, this episode just turned into bring the cat home. <laughs> Close the door. Dang it. Okay, I, I can totally avoid these guys now. Uh, 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 get in there, get in there. Get in there. Jesus. Ow. <laughs> I, I stopped holding. Uh, shift. There we go. Okay, well, <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I went back through the tunnel system got the cat and now I'm gonna just walk home because I'm not gonna risk the cat falling in or something however I am reminded why I kind of hate my map because there's just so many jumps and hoops and mountains and it's not suitable for teleporting cats <laughs> nope wrong one so, oh, and it's getting late again. Got, got thing. Ten minutes only lasting one day. Just do them. Yeah, there you go. Thankfully, he teleports well on land. It's just when he he touches water, where he gets kind of stuck. Ugh, so much. No. Hey, get away from my cat, wolf. Thankfully, they don't fight, otherwise I, I would have problems. <laughs> Lily of the Valley. It's an interesting name. There you go. Okay. On the plus side, I don't have to worry about creepers uh, coming up and trying to kill me. So this does make traveling uh, slightly easier for me. Better turn back. There you are. Okay. All right. So oh, I can already see my house. Nice. There you are. I think the cat. Oh wait, but I need to let the cat sleep with with me because they. Oh, and it's nighttime, so maybe I can capture it. Oh, get on camera is what I meant. Wait, no, it's still the same thing. <laughs> okay, uh, let me just help him out. Where's my boat? There's my boat. <laughs> okay. Thankfully, the cat knows where to go. I should put it that there just in case okay we're almost home buddy there you go yay now come over here yes yes over here no oh, too close oh <sighs> Oh, look at that kid. <laughs> ah, jacket. I know there's enough space for you to give me anything, but... oh, Kitty! Peluchin! I brought a kitty back home. Oh, I always wanted a cat. My my family... Well, actually, we did have cats in my family when uh, my brothers were younger. But then uh, they just... My parents just didn't want a cat anymore. And instead, we got dogs. And granted, I do feel that dogs are easier to take care of than, than a cat. Because cats are more agile. And they can climb walls and literally escape the house if they wanted to. 
I mean, sure, a tame cat won't do it, but hey, you're not you're not giving up. That fine. Oh wait, but I don't I don't want him to. Okay, you better not follow me. Like, stay here, buddy. Oh, yeah, I put the choreography over here. It looks jank as heck, but I I just don't know where else to put it. <laughs> okay. Hi, right, don't follow me, buddy. So not what I expected the, to start out this video. <laughs> I probably edited uh, a lot of that. But I just really wanted to show my adventure of getting that cat. <laughs> it was a travesty. I... <laughs> Thankfully, my the home is not far. If, if I had gotten the cat on the village to bring it here, that would have been more difficult. So I'm glad. Uh-oh. Aha. Okay, perfect. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> you stay there. Okay, so let me let me cut this out, and I'm gonna go back to the Nether because I want to I want to dedicate this episode to the Nether Fortress, which is what I originally wanted to do. I had a few letters, so I'm gonna enchant my armor, and hopefully get fire resistance. All right, so I'll do that, and I'll meet you guys in the Nether portal. Okay, well, unfortunately, I, I took too much time getting the cat that I was expecting. <laughs> so I'm just going to include this part of the video. And then, uh, unfortunately, I'll leave the Nether Fortress for the next one. Okay, so I showed in the tunnel something that says Village and Arena. This is it. So uh, there's a tunnel where you can go. I put this place so I can like store all my items and, and sleep so I can have my spawn point here. Reason for that is, oh, <laughs> reason for that is because of this. So I'm, I'm in creative right now, so, so you guys can see. Ideally, what happens here is that uh, on this floor is supposed to be like the optimal distance. Oh, <laughs> that's creepy. This is like the optimal distance between the floor and the character. So up there, enemies are spawning and slowly falling into like a river. Let, actually, let me show you guys. Uh, oh, oh, uh, yeah, there we go. So they spawn around this spot. It's for spiders. The spiders do this. I don't know how to get to the spot. Stop. I'll try to find a way. They just they just don't fall <laughs> anyway so they're supposed to like uh try to walk across because apparently they think this trap door is available but it isn't so they just walk over here and fall but they're taking a while to do that now originally i had built this one so in this one enemies should spawn here i have like this little observer and dispenser that throws water grabs them all pushes them down here and then from here they get pushed all the way down for some reason, this one wasn't spawning enemies, so I decided to do this version. And as you notice right now, this guy's slowly being dragged away because he tried to cross, but he couldn't, so he's falling down. Oh, and he dies here. Now, there were supposed to be uh, hoppers here. Basically, they're items that take I the anything that falls on them, they, they take it, and you can direct them to put them somewhere. Either put them in containers, put them on dispensers like this, and stuff like that. So the idea was that I was going to make enemies fall here, and I would fight them, and when they die, I could just pick up their items and experience. But it's just like very inconsistent on enemy spawning and falling. I even created this little like ladder. Oh, let's go over here. Again, just in like this elevator. I just I like how this looks too. Here we go. Uh, I turn this on. I made this like little jump platform so I can jump over here. Uh, now let me let me just fly up so you guys can see that. So. What this is doing, and there we go, you can, you can see it. So it clicked, it drops like a bucket of water, which always like doesn't actually drop it, it just spills the water, but it doesn't drop the bucket, which is perfect for me. So there you go, draws the water, mobs fall here, then they fall again over here. And whatever happens here, they get dragged over here and fall down again. I may maybe expand upon this so that when they do fall, like let's say here, they still get pushed over here. I may modify this, but I'm not entirely sure how. Anyway, so they fall here and they and they die. But as stated before, it just doesn't seem to happen as often as I would like it. So instead, I just put a button here that connects to this dispenser. And using Creatable, I, I placed uh, enemy spawn eggs inside of them to make it into an actual arena. So if I want to fight them, I just press here and it shoots them out. Now, I decide well, the cool part is that these dispensers shoot them out in random. They're, it's not like they don't go by any particular order. It's It picks one by random. So in this one, I put uh, zombies, uh, every single type of zombie. 
here I put the archers uh, and the spider, which is like skeleton and the pillagers that I fought already and, and spiders. And on this one, I put the difficult enemies, which is like uh, the wither skeleton, a, a strong pillager, which I think is called a ravager. I can check it right here for you guys. Vindicator. Uh, and Evoker is like another pillager, but he's like a summoner. So it sort of works, but it's so inconsistent. So and I, I wanted to make this like an actual arena where I fight, <laughs> where I fight enemies. So it's nice. Maybe I could just stand here and uh, go AFK. But sometimes they survive the fall because they're they're not falling from the top one. They're falling from the like the middle one. And oof. <laughs> so I try to make a creeper face here, but they it needs to be bigger. But it would it wouldn't it wouldn't look right. So I just made it like the floor is cracked, especially from all the enemies that fall from up there. But anyway, this is the arena. This is based on uh, a Mexican. Uh, like I'm not sure what they call it in English, but it's where they fight bulls. Uh, we call it uh, Toreo, because the bulls here are called Toros. And it is something I, even as a kid, I didn't personally like, because when I was a kid, I didn't know that they killed the bulls. In fact, I just thought that the, they had like this, these sticks, and they just stick them on the bull. Because the bull didn't really look like he was trying to kill the, the person. He, he looked kind of tame, he was always going after the flag and missing it. Instead of going straight to the, <laughs> straight to the human, the the one stabbing him literally. <laughs> so uh, back when I was a kid, I didn't understand it until much later, where, uh, you know, I I learned what it actually is, and they they kill the bulls. I, I know it's for sport and all, but I was, wait, what was that? What the heck is that? Whoa, it's a slime! How did he get here? Oh, this is gonna take forever if I try to fight it. I may kill this guy. Hold on, let me. <laughs> Let's see if he gives me any slime balls. I want to like get them. Yeah, I can make lead. Oh, uh, oh, okay. I need to kill you guys. So I somehow got slimes to spawn here. That's good. I did not intend that. Okay, let's get rid of this. <laughs> there, I got slimes. <laughs> okay, let me get out of here because I. Uh... I did kind of find this cheating, but I mean, that, that is the point of this construction to get enemies to fall, die, and I can grab their items. But I wanted to take a step further and uh, make a button so I can actually fight enemies. I may do an episode of me uh, finding in the arena. I'll take advantage of like a day like this, sleep, uh, place item, my items here, or anything that I don't need there, and just go into battle and, and fight. Uh, I was going to put like sand here and to represent the Toreo, but uh, if a creeper falls, he, he's going to blow up and it's going to destroy the thing, and I don't want that. <laughs> They can still break those, but it's just one block, and that's much more easier to replace than the whole thing. <laughs> now, this structure, I really like this like spine kind of design. I'm glad I, I got to work. If I destroy this, the water flows out, but for some reason, it, it works like that. It, it's kind of weird. Now, I wanted to make a skull face, too, considering that looks like a spine, to, to look kind of more cooler. But uh, I was running blanks on how to make that design. <laughs> Anyways, this is the, the arena with a mysterious mob spawner. And one day, maybe I'll dedicate an episode of just the arena. Uh, all right, so just wanted to include that clip in there. Uh, I have something special to show you guys, so I'm going to go back home, and, uh, and you'll see what I mean by that. Hey, so actually, in the time of me recording this, I've... Well, <laughs> it's my birthday! <laughs> so I just want to take this time to... Just include it here real quick, uh, being my birthday. I'm gonna get- oh man, you look at Pillage, he wants a beat. Pillage, there you go. He also wants some. There you go. Got my milk bucket, I got my cake. I mean, I gotta sing myself a happy birthday, because I'll be- <laughs> That's kinda- it's kinda sad. But I just wanted to include it here, like- And I like this, I like- uh, I guess consider it like self care that you know on this day uh, I was born. Sometimes my parents <laughs> always wondered like, man, maybe I had too many kids or or well, I, I, we're glad that we we decided to have one more, which was me because I'm I was the last child out of four brothers. <laughs> well, I have three other brothers. I was the, like the fourth child. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but it's... Again, it's mostly just self-care. I, I, I'm, i you know, I'm a very positive guy for the most part. I, I know I have, compared to so many of my friends or people that I met online, their lives are 
at least something else. Uh, some some of them really have a very tough life, and I come across a lot of people who are just like their mental health is nowhere near uh, as good as mine. Uh, all things considered, I, I know I shouldn't compare myself to other people, but it's kind of hard. I'm a very I'm a guy that has a lot of empathy, so when the Especially when it came to customer service, that's the type of jobs I get. So I I ended up becoming that way, just uh, being having a lot of empathy towards people. So I just hear all these stories that even if they're not completely true, it's because sometimes customers lie just because they know they can take advantage of that empathy to sort of like get their way. However, it's always been difficult for me to notice that. Uh, I genuinely believe these people over the phone uh, unless they're giving me a very exaggerated story in which case I, I know where they're coming from but other times I can't tell uh, and again I also met people online who describe to me their life and it's, it's hard they they have a family that doesn't love them or a sibling that hates them for no reason oh, I mean with my brothers like sometimes we would I, I never fought any of my brothers but sometimes we would disagree, but never to a point where I, like, I hate them. N nothing like that. Uh, relatively, we were raised in a good family. I, I've actually saw my brothers fight verbally. Thankfully, they never got to anything physical. Thank God. But I, hey, get out of here, zombie. <laughs> but personally, I always... I know it's like considered, oh, he's a good boy. I do have my flaws, obviously. All of us have flaws. But considering the amount of people I met, or even strangers that I met, I have a very good life. And I just want to remind myself that, uh, a little appreciation, that it, it's my birthday. This is the day I was born. And I just want to take this time just to appreciate that. I know this episode's been all over the place, but I just, like, I, I knew. I, I, uh, I may have a fussy memory, and I forget things, but my birthday is, like, the one thing I, uh, I can't forget. Because uh, I do appreciate my life, so. I just want to remind myself that. And I don't, basically what I'm trying to do here is I don't want to take anything for granted. I've lost uh, people. But I also gain new ones. And it's I'm still young. I have I'm like I'm not gonna disclose my age here, but wait, I, it's in my name. DYC eighty nine is the day I was born, so I, I there's no hiding it. <laughs> I grow thirty thirty years old. I, I don't really feel thirty years old actually. I, I feel young. Uh, and that's good. I, I still have I still hope I I can live more. Uh, I still have a lot more to live. I really haven't felt like it's been 30 years at all. So, aside from my bad memory <laughs> being the cause of that. But it's it's been an amazing ride. I, really, I still have dreams and goals I want to get to. I, I do kind of struggle with me being kind of lazy and all. But I, I'm trying. I, I, I will hopefully one day accomplish my dreams. And I'm glad that at least these videos, someone is watching them. Carla, I, I'm glad you've been enjoying this series. Sorry if I'm moving the camera. I'm, I'm just as sporadic in, in real life. Like when I talk, I, I don't like being still. I, I like to move and do stuff around. <laughs> just the way I am. Uh, okay, so let's just... Uh, I gave you guys food. It's time to indulge myself. Mm, delicious. And... Let's make a wish. Uh, let's hope. Well, I'm not going to say it out loud, obviously. But let's blow out the candles. <laughs> the only way I can, by punching them. <laughs> and let's go to sleep. Oh, <laughs> I didn't sleep at all because it's daytime now. <laughs> kind of mirrors my actual life now. <laughs> it's, it's midnight. I should be in bed. But uh, I just wanted to have this moment. Okay, sorry. Just... Oh, I said that I'm not spending way too much time just reflecting on life. Uh, I think I'll leave the fortress for another episode. Uh, 
because I want to upload this one on my birthday <laughs> to make this scene a little bit relevant. Uh, sorry for getting a little deep, sorry for not having much gameplay, but I didn't drink my milk with that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I, I love milk with... I wish I could put the cocoa beans on the bucket to make chocolate milk. Mm, and with a cake. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that's... Uh, I think I'm going to call this an episode. I think it's going to be a short episode at that. Uh, I'll... Because I just really want to dedicate a full 30 minutes to the Nether. Nether Nether Fortress. I I guess I'm going to... I'm going to close this video off here. Uh, but I'm going to include a couple more clips other than just getting the Black Cat. Which, by the way, I know people sometimes relate that the Black Cat as being bad luck. But I, I've never seen cats like that. I like cats regardless of their color. There are d other color types I would find more more adorable and pretty. But I wouldn't mind having a black cat either. I think, actually, one of my first pets... Uh, I mentioned uh, my, my parents having cats before was a black cat. And unfortunately, I was a little young kid and I didn't really treat that cat very well. Maybe that's why I have this feeling that I want to have a cat so I can treat it better this time. Now that I know better. Because I didn't... I was a bad kid to my poor cat. I wish I treated it better. And maybe now I will. I, I just wish I remember what we call that cat. Maybe I'll come up with a new name for you. Uh, once I find a name tag. Because they're so hard to find. <laughs> Alright then. So thank you all for watching. Uh, I just wanted to reflect a little bit upon that. Uh... I'll show clips of the other constructions I made. You've probably already seen them by now. And I hope I created something nice for you all to see. Well, until next time. Take care and have fun playing. The lights. Uh, bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I miss you, Pillagin. Oh, cat. No, no, don't move. No, no, I can't open. No, ha. No, stay still. <laughs> Stop. Stay there. <laughs> Good night, everybody.